CBD. <laughs> Welcome back, y'all. This is Robin here from Skincare Tactical. Today we have another triple R review of the St. Jane Full Luxury CBD Serum. Okay, guys, this is the bougie CBD serum out there in the skincare world. This is probably the most expensive one, guys. This is $125 for the full size. I obviously just wanted to try it out to see if the CBD thing actually works. I have acne prone skin and sensitive skin and I'm always looking for stuff to put in my triage kit to help me uh, soothe my skin, especially after like maybe exfoliating or doing some tretinoin, which I'm on. So uh, I went with St. Jane because I think St. Jane is uh, very complex in their ingredients deck. I, I was really interested in their formulation and composition. And I also got to admit, man, their packaging is really sexy. I mean, it's black and gold. It's totally covered. These are all essential oils which are inside this formulation and it's critical to protect that kind of ingredient from sunlight and uh, free radicals which are in the air. So before I do the four step typical process of my triple R reviews, let's do a quick kind of background. Okay, we gotta do some background. So guys, why CBD? CBD is this new craze. So obviously there's some major legal factors for it. Um, so marijuana is legal in many of the states here in the United States. And for me as a Californian, uh, it's been legal for quite a while now. And a lot of CBD companies are uh, coming out with health products, which are very topicals, especially for me in the hospice and medical world. A lot of my palliative care patients, they love CBD guys, especially in the bombs and ointments. They really help uh, relieve pain. Okay. And also I know patients who have a lot of anxiety and PTSD and they all tell me that cannabis really helps them with their mental illness or just relief of just a lot of social emotional pressures. Right? So CBD is, is really this new kind of ingredient that the whole world is kind of interested in. I know a lot of countries now are now finally legalizing marijuana because they are seeing the medical benefits of it, especially compared to a lot of these really bad, um, you know, pain, pain, uh, Opioids, opioids, exactly. <laughs> Anyways, so CBD guys is popular because first and foremost, it's legal, right? It's legal in many of our states here in the US and we are seeing the medical effects of, right? It treats epilepsy, right? And people with a lot of anxiety and depression. So there's a lot of medical benefits to it. We also know that it, we know that it decreases inflammation. So folks with arthritis, uh, folks who have pain in their joints, a lot of my patients, elderly folks, they do love the topical transdermic uh, CBD or even THC patches. It really helps them for their medical. So it's really interesting how this CBD ingredient has kind of kind of leaked into the skincare world, you know, because these are things that we're putting on our face, putting on, on our bodies, and these are topical ingredients. Okay, guys? So the types of CBD we're seeing are actually all over. So initially I thought it would just be like bombs, you know, or like maybe sticks, but man, we're seeing it in like moisturizers, serums, even in cleansers and toners. I'm seeing like hemp seed oil and CBD, broad spectrum and full spectrum and all kinds of formats, especially in your high end retailers. We checked out a lot of really nice uh, markets, grocery stores, and they have like a huge section of just CBD, like uh, cosmetics and CBD skincare. It's very, very expensive. So you're probably not gonna see it in like your regular stores, guys, okay? So CBD, depending on how many milligrams you have, it's gonna be anywhere from 20 to even $100. So obviously, if you're talking about something like the St. Jane product, which is 500 mils, you're talking $125, right? So very, very expensive. I think in the grocery store, kind of like the off-brand, non-Sephora, kind of a skincare products, you're gonna get a lot more value. And we'll talk about that in step three, okay guys? So why did I choose St. Jane? So there are quite a few uh, companies that I was interested in um, that before I selected St. Jane to be kind of like my CBD test product. So I wanted to choose a facial oil that was organic and cold pressed. So I wanted to make sure, you know, the quality is good. So um, I don't know if some of you guys are out there familiar with cannabis, but there are a gazillion strains and different ways to grow it. 
Um, I have friends and colleagues who are in that industry who tell me really the science behind that. It's really come down to science, guys. It, it is a medical ingredient, and these uh, products and these plants are curated in labs and greenhouses where they really just play God. They play God and control the wind, temperature, humidity to really maximize this medical product, okay, guys? So St. Jane, they advertise this uh, St. Jane Luxury Beauty uh, CBD Serum for as anti-aging and redness, which is perfect. So I'm in my mid-30s, so I wanted to get a product that was cold-pressed, organic, uh, good products, and healthy and organic locally grown here in California. And also it's anti-aging because of the hemp seed oil and the CBD oil. We know that it's already medically proven. It's got a great track record for taking care of pain and inflammation and also the redness. So when I saw anti-aging and redness on their website, I was like, that is for me, bro. <laughs> so I know it's kind of scary with the price, um, so that's the one with the mini, but I just wanted to try something that um, was very complex. So when you look at the, well, I'm gonna break down the ingredients there, guys. It's really, really complex, but it's all legit. So anyways, we'll get to that later. <laughs> but ingredients that wise, I thought it was um, better because the CBD cannabidol um, oil extract was actually on the top end of the deck, whereas some of the other ones is kind of on the bottom and like they're really featuring like jojoba oil or grapeseed oil as their kind of main kind of uh, ingredient in their formulation. So St. Jane CBD well, it has all these oils too, but because of the concentration of the CBD, I wanted to go with the 500 mil, you know, half a gram strength, just to really see if, if it is really effective in skincare. So some of the benefits of CBD in the medical world are, it reduces anxiety and depression. It improves sleep, okay? It also reduces seizures, right? So those folks who struggle with seizures, epilepsy, you know, cannabis is very helpful. I actually know quite a few patients who actually use it for those medical conditions. It also, like I said, soothes pain and inflammation. Uh, I know a lot of elderly folks, my patients in palliative care, a lot of them use the bombs uh, to you put them on their hands and their, and their feet for joints, for joint pain. So it's great for people with arthritis. It's also good for your cardiovascular health, right? So uh, cannabis, we know it's, it's good for your uh, blood flow and it can incre increase cardiac blood flow. And also it helps with inflammation of your um, bowel movement. So if you have IBD, definitely it will improve any symptoms of uh, inflammatory bowel disease, okay? So it, there's so much research behind CBD. So it's really an ingredient that we're all excited for. I think the whole world is kind of uh, looking at us in the US and Canada and other countries to really see where this is gonna go, right? So in skincare, guys, there isn't really any research on CBD. Like I said, when I talked to some of my dermatologist colleagues, they said they're open to it. Uh, they're not really sure of, of really the topical effects of it. We know that it does soothe pain and inflammation. Uh, but beyond that, like the anti-aging and wrinkles, I think we really just don't know. It's too early in the skincare game. CBD, like I said, marijuana has set such a taboo in the, in the social world and social media, uh, people abusing the drugs. I mean, all these factors, right, guys? So, um, yeah, so there's just not a whole lot of research. We really got to be patient. Uh, we really got to support the scientists and the chemists behind this industry to really promote the healthcare, you know, it's not just recreational. I think so I'm really hopeful that the medical world will really take a look at the positive effects of cannabis. All right, guys. So some of you guys are probably scared as hell because they're, you're worried about marijuana and you're going to worry about, is it going to get me high? Uh, so CBD guys is the cannab cannabinoid that's uh, not psychoactive. So THC is the one that gets you high and CBD There's no psychoactive effect guys. So you don't have to worry about getting high uh, This st. Jane product is a full spectrum CBD Which means that it's like the super OG organic way to extract it. They also use co2 extraction Okay, guys rather, rather than using ethanol, which is awesome. Really really so there's so many different nice. ways to extract uh, these cannabinoids and most of these companies they use ethanol or to some kind of alcohol to really extract it So you really have to be critical guys if you want to put these stuff kind of products on your face You know, I really want you guys to put the healthiest stuff. Okay guys Because the reason why the co2 extraction is better than ethanol guys because it's just not chemicals, right? So it's gonna be cold press a lower temperature. It's gonna be a slow slow extraction rather than 
an ethanol extraction is going to be using chemicals to take out stuff and then they have to remove the ethanol again so it's it's a better way guys to extract these wonderful cannabinoids from the cannabis plant okay so this saint jane product uses full spectrum so some of you guys are probably asking what the heck robin is full spectrum versus broad spectrum okay so full spectrum means it uses the entire plant it's like the most organic way to really uh, remove like terpenes which are like flavor profiles and that's really what you're looking for really is not only the concentration of the cbd but also kind of like the the, the smell and kind of like the the aromatic uh features uh, that it brings like right so these pine and even sometimes earthy smells some nutty smells when you extract the whole plant which is the full spectrum which saint jane does you're gonna get all the little natural little or organic ingredients whereas broad spectrum broad spectrum is a little different because they actually uh, in the lab they remove all the thc so for full spectrum you're gonna have uh, thc cannabinoids of 0.3 percent or less okay so it's very very low trace amounts um i i really don't think it's gonna come up in any kind of drug test or anything i hope so. i hope not um if it does or maybe you should just not do like anti-aging <laughs> cbd serums a month before your new job uh, that's probably something maybe you should do uh, but definitely uh, be careful okay guys so the full spectrum is going to have very low trace amounts of thc of 0.3 percent or less and then broad spectrum is a little bit it's a more it's more work there's more chemical stuff going on in a lab where they actually extract uh, any trace amounts of thc so it's not going to be as organic it's not going to have all the terpene profiles not going to have that floral and that natural scent that we're looking for in high quality medical cannabis okay so now let's finally get through the four-step process of the triple r reviews first and foremost we'll be going to the ingredients deck which is freaking amazing second is the fcp formulation composition and packaging which is also an amazing packaging as you've seen at the intro third is the value and price and last but not least would i buy it again okay so going through the ingredients deck, guys saint jane advertises this uh luxury serum oil with 20 20 oil botan botanical oils as like they're kind of you know entourage you know let's let's make it all work together compound right guys and also the cannabinoid uh can canna cannabidiol uh, is the cbd ingredient you always want to look for the can cannabidiol ingredient in the ingredient deck that is going to be the scientific term for cbd all right guys so that's really kind of high on the deck even though they featured 20 of these other botanical oils it's it's in the top third i would say so i i, I like you know i i when i when i pick and pick a product that i want to try i want to you know sp spend some money on i really think about it and discern well whether i want to even try it you know because it's a lot of money to just try these things especially cbd guys it's very very expensive okay so looking at the ingredients like the first ingredient is the sunflower oil sunflower seed oil guys so Overall, guys, my lady's gonna highlight everything. It's gonna be all green, okay? It's a green light on all the ingredients. It's excellent. She's gonna bolt the CBD for you guys. It's it's just an excellent composition. It's very complex. So initially, when I saw the ingredients, I was like, man, is this gonna really irritate my skin? I have sensitive skin, acne-prone skin. I was a little bit afraid if that it might there might be too much oils going on that might screw it screw up my face. But actually, it didn't. It didn't really harm my face. So we'll get to that later. But ingredients deck. First and foremost, we have the sunflower seed oil, okay? Next, we have the shea, shea, shea or shea, 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 shea nut butter. <laughs> and then I also have the pomegranate seed extract, grape seed oil, and next is the cannabidiol, which is the full spectrum CBD. Next is the rose hip seed extract, sea buckthorn fruit extracts. These are all excellent, excellent, excellent ingredients guys great for uh, middle-aged folks like me or older folks who are anti-aging they're great oils guys and also has the uh, jojoba seed oil a lot of products have jojoba seed oil it's got a great track record uh, most people don't have any kind of allergic reaction to it uh, it's a very low comedogenic rating on that one uh, it also has rose flower oil it has helichrysum italicum flower oil and uh, Simbo Pogon, Martini Vimosha, Palma Rosa Leaf Oil, Sandalwood Oil, 
frankincense resin extract. It also has geranium flower oil, myrrh resin extract. Oh wow, it's another biblical ingredient. That's hilarious. <laughs> Next is the calendula flower extract and the spikenard root oil and tocopherol, AKA vitamin E, we all know that, and prickly pear seed oil. And last but not least is rosemary leaf extract. So this formulation guys is pretty complex. It's amazing. It's got no like added fragrances and it doesn't have uh, perfume or alcohol. This is just a straight up organic clean setup guys. So as far as ingredients wise, St. Jane, you guys know what you're doing. You know, it's, it's an excellent, formulation composition and the packaging man need I say more packaging is really amazing because it is black and it's enclosed completely from any kind of lights and UV rays and man it is beautiful guys look at this gold little label on there look at this guys and it's really it's it's just it's just oils so it's very light it's a light oil I wouldn't say it's super heavy and I would say it's on the lighter oil side, guys. So even for people like me who are, have sensitive acne prone skin, it wasn't irritating at all. Didn't feel like it was too much. Uh, but I will say the one thing I did not like about it was the smell. So, you know, for me, I, I don't like smelling like weed or smelling like marijuana. Uh, for just not for me. Um, I definitely don't want to smell like that uh, ever. Um, so just just something that just uh, for you guys to caution, guys. If you guys are sensitive to the weed smell or if you think that's a little irritating or it's a turn off for you uh, it's just something that you need to be aware of okay guys so even though the smell guys even though i'm very kind of uh, irritated by the smell it does go away okay so i, I think after maybe like an hour it, it, the kind of the cannabis smell goes away a little bit so you don't really notice it but when you first put it on uh, you could definitely uh, smell some of that cannabis and it was a little bit turn offing for me but you, you might be different next step is the price and value so this thing, guys, for the full full bottle, sure. for the big one, not not the mini size, but the full size, guys, for it's a, it's a one ounce, it's thirty mils, and it's coming out at one hundred and twenty five clams. Holy monkey! So you better have some deep pockets for this one, guys. It's super super expensive. I I knew CBD pockets were gonna be expensive. A lot of these uh, medical uh, topicals for our patients, uh, they are very expensive, and that's why insurance covers some of it, and some of them don't. Uh, but generally guys, this is a super super expensive product. I just don't know what the value is really I know herbivore has got some other stuff for about 50 bucks But it doesn't, near, it doesn't have nearly the same concentration as st. Jane So, you know, I always tell people, you know, you pay for what you get generally in life And I think it applies for cannabis or even cannabis ingredients uh, You know you, when, when you get cheaper products, they're gonna use uh, easier you know, ethanol extraction or they're gonna use lower grade maybe outdoor grown cannabis compared to something that's grown in a lab that's grown by scientists and chemists. I mean, it's a totally, it's, this, is, this is a medical field guys. Okay. So, you know, you're going to have to pay these doctors and chemists and researchers to do these things. It's not, doesn't, it's not just your, your at Joe Schmo growing it in his backyard. Okay guys. Uh, so value wise, I'm not sure. I'm kind of hesitant to give it a value rating, but it is very, very expensive. Okay. Um, my lady and I did some shopping, like I said, around some of the kind of bougie uh, grocery stores, such as like Whole Foods and Sprouts nearby in Orange County. And we did see quite a huge section of CBD. CBD is really taking the world by storm, at least here in California. Uh, a lot of folks who can't afford this medical ingredient are using it really for their skincare and even for their medical needs for arthritis, anti-aging wrinkles, things like that. Okay, it's very soothing. So I initially wanted to use this for my triage kit, right? It's a very, it's a soothing ingredient. Um, but as far as price wise, uh, I wanted to make, just make a note that you can get a 500 milligram um, oil or like a moisturizer or serum. You can find them really at your local bougie grocery stores for about half the price, okay? So I kind of saw that um, what Sephora's or even like um, all the CBD skincare products on Sephora, their prices were about double what really is seen at your local stores. And really, you gotta look at the ingredients, guys. You're paying for the ingredients, okay? You don't need to pay for the fancy packaging or the box. By the way, this thing comes in a beautiful box. Freaking beautiful. So you are paying for these things, guys, okay? So just be aware of that. You know, if you do feel like, you know, this is too much, it's too rich for your blood, 
Maybe just get the one that's in your local grocery store. It's really the same product. It's not gonna be as pretty. You're not gonna have the advertisement and the, and the backing that Sephora.com uh, has in the global market, okay guys? Is it effective? You know, I've used this for about a couple of weeks and I'm using retinol, so I kind of use this after my tret. And I layer myself a little bit with uh, this uh, CBD oil. And to be honest, guys, I'm not really sure if I've really noticed any improvements. Um, I think maybe it's a combination of me using like, you know, a, a retinoid and other products. I'm also trying Sorobasu. It also has retinol in it. So I'm not really sure. My skin's been pretty, pretty good. I know I'm like right now I'm sweating right now, but <laughs> my skin's been generally pretty good the last few weeks, um, even though I've been really stressed out at the hospital. So um, yeah, I'm not really sure if it works. Uh, like I said, again, I, I think we got to continue researching it. I wish there was more research and we need to really support the CBD market to see and promote more research in the future, right guys? We want these scientists to really come out with facts, okay? Not just marketing, but facts showing that it does reduce uh, any kind of skin condition, maybe rosacea. Like I wanna see those kinds of reports, okay guys? So I think it's still research is TBD. Uh, for me personally, in my experience, I really didn't notice any change. I just wanna be honest with you guys, okay? Last but not least is, would I buy it again? Um, no, <laughs> um, I'm a chaplain. I, I don't make a whole lot of money. Um, I think this is a little bit too rich for my blood, but I am grateful that I have tried it. I do, I wanna ask folks to really try something. You don't have to try the St. Jane version. I think if I were to do it all over again, I would just go to like Whole Foods and get, get like their thousand milligram CBD, like, you know, whatever, ointment, or, you know, they come in, like, some of them come in, like, cool pumps. Like, they, these guys really know what they're doing. Obviously, it's not advertised a whole lot, but you're gonna see them in your really bougie grocery stores, okay? High-end grocery stores, uh, places where people can really afford it. Like I said, these are very expensive products. You're paying, like, close to, like, 50 to $100 for a moisturizer, guys, and you're really paying for this medical ingredient, right, CBD. All right, so for me, um, I would say no, I'm not gonna rebuy this one. I would probably, if I were gonna buy it again, I'm probably gonna just go with Whole Foods and buy like their 500 milligram or their 1000 milligram like moisturizer or serum and put that into my kit. All right guys, thanks for watching. I know this is a really long review, but I really wanted to do my research and give you guys my honest uh, assessment and also kind of introduce folks who are unfamiliar with cannabis or just CBD and all the all the hoopla that's behind it. I just wanna get rid of some of those myths. If you guys have any questions about it, please uh, email them to me or a message or comment down below. I do have some friends and colleagues who are in the industry and the medical field and, all, and also the recreational field who can uh, maybe answer some of the questions or I can ask them, okay guys? So thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. Please share this video and thanks for checking out St. Jane's Luxury CBD Serum. Peace. Mm -hmm.